I don't know if you guys noticed this, but there's some companies that have been marketing this AI thing pretty hard this year. The, the big thing, and this is at least a year old now, is this agentic AI thing. And I thought to myself, for all the marketing, for all of the hype, there's actually a bunch of stuff that does work well that is, we would call AI. None of it is agentic, <laughs> like none of it. <laughs> and so I thought maybe I could come up with a, just a quick list of things that actually work. So whether you're an AI cheerleader, an AI denier, or somewhere in the middle, whatever it might be, you know, we can have this kind of middle ground where this is like where AI actually is making sense. As we make apps in Windows or apps on your mobile device controllable by AI, AI or accessible to AI, I've been calling it programmatic, like a programmatic app. The idea is that this thing has public interfaces that you wouldn't see as a human being, but a service like an AI agent could access to get at features of those apps. Streamlining of the context menu and file explorer, that's an example of that type of thing, where you basically publicize or publish, however you want to say it, individual features of apps, the actions you can take on certain files. So you right click a, a document, and you can say rewrite this with Word or whatever the capability is. Turns out there is a term for this, and I've heard it before, even in this context, I just didn't make the connection. I was watching a, an OpenAI podcast video about their browser, ChatGTP Atlas, and they were talking about the semantic web. And I thought, that's it. That's the term. It's semantic. 